We started off with the rub board, and then the accordion and the rub board, and we ended up with the guitar. Then we got the bass in the back here with Tony. There's gonna be keep it up, Tony. Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> don't, don't leave. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna play for the last one a little snappy, a little snap beat. Little Buck, stay on there. Stay on there. We're gonna play. We're gonna do something with a little snap to it. I'm gonna show you why snap beat. The Zodi goes up like that. Put some snap to it. You want some drum with that? Yeah, if you got it, if you got it, you got it right now. He's getting his sticks and snares. Want me to get up there and do it for you? <laughs> All right, All right, let's go. Hit it. All right.
So I'm going to force up in the building. Z4 Sal showing our love, definitely showing how we feel right here in Laura here tonight, y'all. We're going to take you back right here.
Look at yourself.
It's your Zotico Lady Lola Lover here at the second annual Clifton Chenier Celebration. And Mr. Lil Buck Senegal is here in the house. The legendary Lil Buck, how are you doing? Fine, fine. The original guitar player for the Clifton Chenier Red Hot Louisiana Band. That's right. Tell us about Mr. Chenier. How did you get to meet him? Oh, we were at a club, you know, we were just hanging out. And I said, who's that big tall man? And he said, well, that's Clifton Chenier. So I went and he said, who's you? I said, Lil Buck, he said, oh, you the little band I beat? You? Yeah, I said, yeah. Then he said, you playing tonight? I said, no. You want to play tonight? I said, yeah, and I played with him in uh, 16 years. Okay, 16 mm -hmm. years. So you know, you've known him pretty well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell us some of the places that you traveled to with Mr. Clifton Chenier. All over the world, you know. I never left Louisiana until I started playing with him. You know, we did every state, countries all. He had, uh, I was there when Cliff got the key to Paris, France, you know. Uh, yeah. Now tell us about um, tell us about your music. What we what type of what style of music were you playing before Clifton Chenier? Well, we were doing the fifties and sixties. You know, a lot of Jan Brown, Jackie Wilson, and stuff like that. Okay. Then I went to that. Then right now I got my blues band. I got a blues band now too. You know. Okay. Now currently, are you touring? Yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow. As a matter of fact, with Buckwheat Zodico. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now tell us about your connection with Buckwheat. Well, Buckwheat used to play in my band in the sixties. And then the top cat, then he built a band called, uh, uh, well, uh, I don't know, I don't remember the name. And then after that, he went into Zodico, and we met, and I uh, played with him a few years. I'm back with him right now, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So tell us about this relationship between blues and Zodico. How do you feel about that? Well, I learned blues through Zodico. Playing with Clifton, you know, uh, uh, I didn't know nothing about blues. I had a lot of rhythm, you know. And we never pick a guitar, we just rhythm, you know. But till I saw playing with him, he said, Man, you're gonna have to learn how to pick the guitar, go listen to BB King something. So I bought records and I listened and I learned it, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you're also related to Curly Taylor. Tell us about uh, my that. My nephew. All right. Curly Taylor married my baby is uh, my baby sister is mother, yeah. Okay. Okay, because every time we see Curly Taylor, you know, we do ask him about a little butt. Yeah. And we've been trying to connect with you for such a long time. Well you got it now. I'm glad, I'm glad. Uh, what else can you tell us about yourself? Well, you know, I got a couple of blues CDs out, and I'm about to do a little tour myself. You know, I got a four-piece blues band is out of sight, you know. No bragging. Y'all got to hear it. I mean, you know, the band is very good. You know? All right. And where can people find out information about you, Lil Buck? Uh, yeah, on, on uh, LilBuck.com or, or go on to Lucky Catch Records. Okay. You'll find a lot of stuff on there. Okay. Mm. Now, when you're not touring and you're in the local area, where can we find you? Oh, at the Blue Moon or where little Papa B. Corey, wherever they got music. You'll find me sitting in there, you know. Yeah. All if right. not, we'll laugh here. Where I live, you know. Okay. I'll be around now. I got a big old garden. I got watermelon, cucumbers. Uh, I play with that. Uh, no kidding. All right. And we're back to the Zotico workout. It's your Zotico lady Lola Lover here at the second annual Clifton Chenier celebration. And Lil Buck Senegal is in the house. And you wanted to tell us about other bands that you have performed with. Tell us about some of the bands. It take me three three months to say that, but uh, I you know with Zotico, Marcel Dugat, Rockin' Dupe Junior, Senior, Fun is also know, uh, Jude Taylor, my brother-in-law, uh, Warren Praise on, little popcorn little dead up. Uh, uh, just in Zydeco. Just to but, a few. Yeah, but then in Rhythm and Blues, I played with William Bell, Archie Bell, uh, you know, uh, Big Mama Tartan. I played guitar for her. Uh, uh, it takes me all day to see what that is. That's okay. But you know what? We got a legend in the house right here at the second annual Clifton Chenier Celebration, Lil Buck Senegal. What else can you tell us about yourself? I'm just happy to be here with you and the people and have fun. That's the day here. You know, that I can't forget because a year before Clifton passed, my parents, mom and dad both died in 86, so then Clifton next the following year, I stopped playing for about two years behind that, and then I'm just glad to be back playing again and be in this club, you know? Yeah. I feel him right here. He's close by, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, we're so glad that you were able to be part of this event, and we're so glad that we were able to see you here. Mm -hmm. You know, thank you so much for being here. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. All right.
It's your Zodico Lady Lola Love right here at the second annual Clifton Chenier Celebration. And with me is none other than Tucker. How you doing? I'm doing fine in yourself. Now, you are the king of swing. Is that right? <laughs> That's what they gave me. That's the title they, they gave me, you know. So. Now, tell us how you got started. Well, like I said, uh, start off with Keith, you know, rolling around. Keith, I did get low for him and uh, traveled and performed every weekend like he do still do today. And then, you know, he told me, you know, do what I really wanted to do, you know. And that was really the swing. I, I like to see people dance, you know. I branched off and now I'm Tucker, King of Swing. <laughs> name us uh, or give us the name of your first CD. Um, Love Rehab, which is, that's what Work It Out came off of. Work It Out and the song you're hearing right now, which is uh, Never Would Have Thought. You know, Young Man, a lot of the songs that's in the clubs right now come off the first album. And then my second album is uh, Forever King. And that's what Candyland come off of, you know, so. So where do you get the inspiration for this music? You know, I grew up, I grew up hearing all the old music, you know, so of course I like to sing music with feeling and watching other people, situations and stuff, and I just put them in a song and come out with a nice song that people relate to. And where are you from? I'm from here, Louisville, Louisiana. And you are how old? 27. Ladies, and he's single. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and where can people find out more information about you? Uh, you go to my Facebook, which is Tucker Young Man. My website, which is www.itucker.com. MySpace, you know, I really don't be on MySpace like talking about, but, you know, it's still up and running, so. Okay, now what can we expect this upcoming year from Tucker? Um, I'm going to push my Forever King album, my last album, Real hard. I'm planning on coming out with an R&B album towards the end of the year. You know, just to, you know, change it up just a little bit. Okay. But um, more fun, more music, and, you know, more performances and stuff like that. Do you ever uh, perform outside this area? I do perform outside, and right now it's really getting like, this, like today is my first day off in a month and a half, you know, so that's good, you know, and people are starting to pick up out of state and, you know, and really calling me and, you know, I'm doing good, you know. I can't complain. Well, I wonder how they're hearing you out of state. <laughs> the fans. The fans. The fans take it and bring it to their friends, and their friends take it to their friends, and, you know, pass it on down, and I'm glad, and I'm happy, you know. So you want to thank the fans? I want to thank the fans for just always supporting me, and, you know, without y'all, there's no me. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Just look out for Tucker, and uh, I want to thank you, too, because, you know, let me know that, you know, you are pushing my music. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's your Zodica Lady Lola Love right here at the second annual Clifton Chenier Celebration. Tucka, thank you so much for being with us. And we look forward to listening to more of your new music. Thank you so much. Thank you.